I'm a man who has been who has gotten several impartations. One of the strongest gifts I have in my life was the, the gift of healing. When I saw a man, how did I become interested in Christ's embassy of Pastor Chris? It was the heat of the persecution. Every day I'll read papers, I'll read this. I said, for this man to be going through this, there is something about him. He wasn't the only part. Listen, it is only ripe mangoes that attract stones. <laughs> Sometimes when you say, why you, why you, why you? No, it is you because you are making impact in the spirit. And I got interest. I wasn't watching. Before that time, I wasn't watching Pastor Chris. I wasn't because I'm not a person. When I'm following a man, I don't, I don't, I was following the Archbishop. I wasn't interested in, I don't, I don't read anybody's book then. I don't, but when they were attacking this man, just what, what is going on? But then I was preparing to get married. That was in the late 90, 98 or something. 98, 99. I was in courtship then. One time, Mama and I, we uh, went somewhere. I think we sat down. And I was hearing Pastor Chris tape. He was responding to all the allegations and everything. And my heart was, I don't know him, but my heart was boiling. I said, what has this person done? Why? And I saw a fellow great preacher was attacking him. So I just developed interest. I was going to preach in Abba that day for the full gospel businessmen. And I was watching him on TV. And I saw the move of God. I said, he's a man of God. And I just felt the anointing. I went to that meeting, cancers. I've seen fibro drop. I've never seen cancer drop before. That day I saw cancer coming like flesh, bam, drop from somebody. Why? I focus on what he carried. Not what the newspaper carried. I've seen, I'm telling you the truth. Impartation. So, what I did, I can give you men. A man like Apostle Baba Lola, you will go around, around, oh Lord. You will go around men like that, you go to their own ministries to ask about them. In their own ministries, they will commonize them. I went to his own ministry to ask about it. They said, leave, leave, leave that prayer, prayer. I said, but you found that this ministry they say leave that side leave that side just follow your ministry follow your life don't be like him so i began to buy books i didn't meet him in my life he didn't have much tapes i began to buy i needed to understand the power of prayer i went to the mountain those at this mountain they know me i was going there part time because i needed impartation And there are people, you are too casual. That's why you are a casualty. You are too casual. I went and I stopped. All those I leave these books. I, leave. I shut my ears because I knew what I was looking for. I began to read these materials. The fire of prayer entered me. And I saw myself praying. I saw myself fasting. I saw myself praying. I saw myself fasting. I saw myself praying. I saw myself fasting. Hey, go through the word of God. You see, you cannot know God with a closed Bible. 